Okay, so, um, there's a lady in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Her name is Lori Stilly. And, uh, she told her friends and family that she had bladder cancer. And, um, they started to deliver her meals. They held raffles for her, t shirt sales. And um, they planned for her wedding and raised more than $10,000 to pay for her treatment. But prosecutors say it was a scam. So um, she lives in Delrin, New Jersey, and um, she was charged with theft by deception. And her lawyer denies the charges. Um, they say that she told her friends in February 2011 that she had stage 3 bladder cancer and that she would need chemotherapy and radiation. So two months later she told them, uh, well she said on her Facebook that um, it had went up to stage 4 and that the cancer was spreading to other parts of her body. So um, her friends and supporters pitched in and um, she didn't have medical insurance, so uh, that's the reason why they started paying for her um, treatment. So then they started planning for her wedding and pay for her wedding. Um, then she wrote a book called uh, They Say Impossible, How a Facebook Group Loved Me Through Bladder Cancer. And it's selling for $14.99 a copy. She raised more than $3,000 on that. And her sister turned her in to the police saying that uh, she started uh, changing her story very quickly. And uh, telling friends that she was uh, making hospice plans. And then she posted on Facebook that she felt that a miracle was coming in that she was feeling better. So, uh, her sister, who turned her in, says that her sister needs mental health help. So, yeah, um, she, was rele she was released on a bail of $25,000. And, um, yeah, that's crazy. And, uh, what's even more crazy is I have a friend who, who said that she had cancer also. And I don't believe her. And uh, she was telling me that she had blood cancer. And um, I think that she was lying. And so when I read this story, I'm like, oh, that sounds like my friend. Oh, my gosh. It may be a mental illness because my friend is like, really? And she's always lying. So I'm thinking that Lori is the same way. Um... I don't know if lying, habitual lying is a disease or is it just that people live their life telling lies so long that they actually believe that it's the truth. Maybe she did think that she had cancer. I don't know, but it's, it's crazy. Um, yeah, and I know she was so embarrassed when uh, she got caught and got arrested. <laughs> And she looked like a normal person. That's the thing about it. She looked so normal. And um, she fooled all those people into thinking that she had cancer. She didn't. That's, wow. Um, my thoughts on it is maybe, you know, just take her and just get her evaluated. You know, because she might need some pills, some type of anxiety pills or... I don't know. I don't know. Is, is there a disease that... Well, I know there's Munchausen syndrome, and that's the disease where the people have their... pretend like their kids are sick, and they get all kinds of attention and sympathy regarding their kids. So maybe it's almost right in line with Munch, Munchausen syndrome or um, hypochondriacism. I don't know, but that is, it may be a mental disorder, so I wouldn't go so hard on her, but I know those people that raise all that money for her are pissed off, and uh, they're probably going to ask for the money back, they're probably going to take her to civil court.
so we'll have to stay tuned on that one. That's that's just a freaky crazy story that I thought you all should hear about. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, don't forget to go to my website at www.easypaychecknow.weebly.com if you like to make some extra money. All right. Um, so that's it for now, and I have some more juice to tell you guys. I'll make another video. <laughs> All right, and always have a good day. Bye.